Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a back to school clothing haul and I'm really excited about this video because I love everything that I got and I'm excited to show you guys because I love doing hauls. They're probably one of my favorite videos to film. But before I get started with the haul, I really need your guys' help. So I have been on the hunt for these pants that I saw someone wearing at Coachella and I seriously can't find them anywhere. I have searched high and low, I have googled, I have seriously done everything. I recently discovered an app called The Hunt and basically what The Hunt is is an app that you can go on and you make an account and then say you find a picture on like Tumblr or Instagram of like a really cute bag or a really amazing pair of shoes and you're like I have no idea where to purchase this because the person didn't tag where the item is from. So you can go on the hunt, upload the picture and start your hunt and then other people will help you find the product that you're looking for whether it's the exact item or an item really really similar to it and I just think it's so awesome and you can help other people with their hunts as well and I just think it is such a great idea like how did someone not think of this sooner and how am I just now finding out about it I don't know but I am so excited that I did but I really need your guys' help because I can't find the pants so if you want you can download the hunt app I'll leave a link down below where you can do that and maybe you can even follow me if you wanted my username is at Maddie Bragg and then you guys can help me hunt for my pants because I really want to find them and purchase them before school starts. Now I'm just going to get into everything that I got. I'm going to start off at Brandy Melville because why not? So the first thing that I got is this flannel and it is not a Brandy Melville flannel. It is one of their like vintage flannels and there's a feather stuck to it. It just looks like this. It's pretty much just, you know, a flannel and it's really really nice and it's the perfect size to tie around my waist but also wear on my body and I really like it. The next thing that I got is a pair of shorts and these just have like a floral print on them and then they have like an elastic waistband and they're just like a flowy cotton pair of shorts and I love Brandy Melville's cotton shorts. They're the most comfortable things in the entire world. I don't know if I'll wear them to school because they're kind of more of like a lounging piece but you never know. Speaking of Brandy Melville shorts I got another pair and these ones I will definitely wear to school. They're so cute. They have more of like a print and I feel like these are a little bit less like pajama like. I don't know. They're a um, different material than the other shorts that I showed you but I really really like them. I think they're so fun. They're gonna be amazing to wear to school because they're cute but they're still really really comfortable and I love that. So the last three things I got from Brandy are all shirts. So the first one looks like this and it's just a muscle tee with a pocket and it's ridiculously soft like all of Brandy Melville's cotton is and I just really like it. It's a pretty simple shirt but I know I'm gonna wear it all the time. The next shirt I got I showed in black in my last haul and it's just this shirt with the really like thin neckline and then it's just like a tank top. I really love the black one so I decided to pick it up in gray and I don't think this is dress code at all but you can definitely put a like cardigan or a flannel over it if you really want to wear it to school that bad. And the last thing that I got from Brandy is this shirt and it's just a white t-shirt that says thank you on it a bunch of times and then at the bottom it says have a nice day so it's like the takeout bags that you would get at like a Chinese food restaurant or something like that and I just think it's funny and like cute I don't know I thought it was an interesting shirt and I had never seen anything like it and I was like hey that's cool and again it's so soft so I had to buy it moving on to PacSun I got a few things the first thing that I got is actually from Brandy Melville but they sell Brandy Melville at some PacSun so yeah but these are just a pair of the flowy shorts like I have a million pairs of but I don't own a light gray pair nor have I ever seen a light gray pair so when I saw them I was like they are mine it's meant to be because they were also the last pair so I had to buy them and they're really soft. The next thing I got from PacSun is another Brandy Melville item and it is a flannel except for this one is actually by Brandy Melville and it's not a vintage one so you can find this and it's just like a traditional flannel I guess it's like red and black or red and gray whatever color that is I'm not sure and I really like it it's not like a super soft material like it's not a warm flannel it's more of like a cooler one so that's nice and it looks really really nice tied around your waist 
It's like the perfect size. The last Brandy Melville item I got from PacSun is this, and it is a like dress with red flowers on it. They might be roses, but I'm not too sure. I didn't even intend on trying this on, but when I was in the dressing room, it was like hung up. It's just like a baby doll dress, and it doesn't have much shape to it, but it looks so cute on and I'm obsessed with flowy dresses like this because they're so comfortable but they're so cute so they're perfect for school and I can't wait to wear it. The last thing I got from PacSun is two pairs of jeans because their jeans were two for like $50 maybe? I'm not sure but I went into PacSun because I needed a pair of low-rise black skinny jeans because I don't own any pairs. All of my black jeans are either high-waisted boyfriend jeans or something like that. I don't have a pair of like plain low-rise black jeans so I decided to pick a pair up and they're really really nice. They're soft and they're long enough for my legs which is awesome. And the other pair of jeans I got are actually a pair of boyfriend jeans and they just have like rips in them and they're a medium wash and I didn't really have any boyfriend jeans like this. I have a black pair and then I have a lighter wash pair. I'm really, really excited about these. I've already worn them once and they're so comfortable. So now I'm going to show you guys what I got at Nordstrom. The first thing is this tank top. I know it's a tank top and you couldn't wear it to school, but you can always put a cardigan or flannel over it, like I said, with anything that's like spaghetti strap or something. But it just has a little bit of a V in the front and it looks really, really nice on. It's just a flowy tank top. I've been searching for a pair of army green pants like this for like a year now and I was never able to find a pair I was totally in love with and now I did and I am so excited so they look like this and they actually have front pockets which is very rare for jeans nowadays and then they have the side pockets and then they have like stitching on the knees I seriously cannot wait to wear these pants but right now it is way too hot to wear them so the first chance that I get that it's a little bit colder you best believe you're gonna be seeing me in these. So next I went to H&M and I don't really go in there all that often anymore because I never really find anything that I like but this time I went in there and I was very successful so the first thing that I got is this shirt and it's just gray and then it has some mesh detailing right here. I really really like this it is so soft and comfortable it almost feels like a workout shirt but it's not. The next thing that I got from H&M is a dress and it buttons down the front and then in the back there's like a little tie thing that you can tie if you want to make it tighter and I just think this is so cute. It's definitely a casual dress that you could wear to school. So the last clothing piece I got from H&M is this and it almost is like a kimono but different. I would say it's like an oversized button up shirt with no buttons so the sleeves are like rolled and it just looks like this. This is unlike any kimono that I own, so I thought it would be a great piece to add to my wardrobe. The next thing I got from H&M is these shoes, and I have a pair pretty similar, except for they are completely flat. It looks like this, but obviously it's completely flat and like a different material, but I really wanted to buy these because I love the little heel on them. I don't know if I will wear these to school just because of the heel. I would rather wear these ones, but I still do really like these and I know I'm going to get so much wear out of them. The next thing I got is a pair of shoes from Vans and they look like this. They're just the classic black slip-ons and I am in love with these. I've already worn them. They're so easy to put on. Like you literally just slip your foot in it and they're so great. I think they're so cute and they're just really comfortable. And then I went to Cotton On and I only got three things. So I got one clothing item. It is this jacket so it like cinches in at the waist and there's like buttons and a zipper and then there's a hood and it's not a very like heavy jacket which I like because I'll be able to wear either like a flannel over it or a flannel under it or like a thick sweater or something like that and it's black rather than green because most jackets in this style come in green. This is a very universal jacket that I could just throw on over anything which I really really like. And then I just got a pair of over the knee socks that are just like this charcoal color. I don't have any over the knee socks in this color surprisingly and so I bought them. The next thing that I bought from Cotton On I won't be wearing to school. I bought this for other purposes just because I thought it was so cute. I'll probably wear it to like a concert or something like that but it's just a flower crown or like a flower headband whatever and it's all 
black, which I really like. It's so cute. I might as well buy it, even though I'm not wearing it to school, so... So the first thing I got from Topshop is this jean jacket, and it's all like ripped up and distressed. I'm obsessed with it. It like has like shredding and holes, and I love it. I seriously can't wait to wear it, and I know I'm going to be wearing it like all the time. I haven't had a jean jacket that I've been this in love with in a long time, and I'm just so excited. Jean jackets go with everything. The shirt, and it just has some embroidered detail on it. And when I saw it on the hanger, I was like, hey, that's really cool. And then I tried it on, and I fell even more in love with it. I don't know what it is about the shirt, but it just looks really cool on your body. I don't know if that's weird to say, but you should try this shirt on, and you'll know what I'm saying, but... Yeah. So the next thing that I got from Topshop is another t-shirt, but this one has like rolled sleeves and it's a graphic so it says office animals and then it just has like a bunch of these animals on it like wearing ties and stuff like that and watches and I just thought it was really cute and funny. I love graphic tees, they're great to just put on with a pair of jeans and tennis shoes and you still look cute so yeah! The next two things I got kind of go hand in hand and the first thing is this shirt, and I showed this in my last haul in gray, but it's just a ribbed crop top, but this one is in white, and it's actually see-through, so I got this, not just to go with it, but to also wear separately, and it's like this little bralette shirt, so it zips in the back, or I would call it like a bralette, it's almost more of like a shirt thing. And the lace at the bottom right here is really thick, which I loved about it because I can wear this under this shirt and then the lace sticks out at the bottom and it's perfect because then I don't have to worry about it being see-through and it's just a win-win situation so yeah I'm obsessed with both of these things and I cannot wait to wear them. The very last thing of the haul is a pair of shoes and they are high top pink converse. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I'm so excited I finally own these shoes because I feel like I was in so many situations where I was picking out my outfit and I was like gosh I wish I had pink converse to wear with this so now I do and I'm really excited I love them I know like they're not the most wearable shoe I guess because they are pink and you kind of have to base your outfit around the shoe but I love them so yeah we have reached the end of the video yet again I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out the hunt if you want to, I will leave a link down below where you can download the app and help me find my pants that I have been hunting for, and you can follow me on there at Maddie Bragg, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I'll see you later. Bye! Mwah.